Hi guys, my name is Rishma and welcome to Singapore Food Vlog. Singapore is not just about its beautiful modern futuristic architecture, but the food as well. So let's start eating at the Changi Airport itself. On level B2 of the Jewel, there is this food court. So I'm having this beautiful egg gravy seafood for fun at Changi Airport, which I've ordered from this shop over here. Looks delicious. It's a huge portion. some of these dips even better it's become a little spicy it's so nice Then I went to this Albert Center which is a hawker center in Little India near Simlim Tower and just behind this OG building. It was suggested by the receptionist at my hotel and it was one of the cheapest hawker centers that I found in Singapore. After going through many stalls I decided to have lor mee. It had so many different types of meat in it. It's not spicy. In fact, it was a little sweet, but it was really good. Later, I randomly stopped at a street side stall to try the pork wonton soup. This is really good. Next I had laksa, also at a roadside restaurant. I had just heard the name laksa, but I had no idea what it was. So I thought I'll give it a try. Oh, thank you. So this is a very small bowl, but it smells so much of seafood. And I don't know what all is in here. So let's give this laksa a try. Let me try the soup first. It is spicy. It does not have a very strong taste. It's nice. I'm not sure how to describe this taste, but this definitely tastes a lot like seafood noodles. In Chinatown, I went to Chinatown Complex, which has the largest food court in Singapore with more than 260 food stalls. Okay, so looks like the stalls in this area is closed. I've noticed this in other hawker centers as well. Many stalls remain closed or they open only on certain days. And usually after 5 p.m. most of the hawker centers start closing. Now this is something to keep in mind while in Singapore, which I did not know about. So 
I really wanted to eat the chicken rice but the stall is closed today so I'll have to eat something else let's see what I can find so I have decided to eat at this stall and I've ordered myself black soy sauce for grapes with steamed pot rice this I can take thank you so this is black soy sauce, pork ribbed, steamed pot rice. Three chunks of pork ribs have here. Let's dig in. That was hot. That was really spicy. It's nothing fancy but I can basically just get the taste of dark soy and pork. That's it. But it's really really nice. And the meat is so tender it just separates from the bone so easily. So it's like really properly cooked. Not at all spicy but it gives a little bit of sweetness maybe because of the dark soy that they have used. Oh my god, this is so so good. Whenever you are eating in a hopper stall, make sure you return your tray and your crockery after you eat. There are such signs placed everywhere. So there are more stalls here which I'm not going to explore anymore because I'm full. Albert Food Center is just behind Boogie's shopping street. So now I'm going to eat something at this Albert Hawker Center here in Boogie. Finally, I'm trying the steamed chicken rice. So the chicken is basically steamed, but the rice has very good flavor. One drink that you absolutely must try is this coconut drink. It comes with chunks of fresh coconut and it's really really nice. Mm. In the evening don't forget to go to Lao Pa Saat, also known as the Saate Street which only opens from 7 pm onwards and as you can see it is fully packed and this place is also very near the Merlin Park. Inside this building there is a huge food court as well where you get food from various parts of Asia. So thank you so much for watching. This is it from me from Singapore series. I'll see you in some other video. Until then, take care.